So how much can virtual assistants really get paid? I'm about to break it down in this video. I've had tons of clients who are VAs and I have been a VA in the past myself. And I'm here to tell you what you can expect to earn if you're thinking of becoming a VA or you are a VA yourself and you're wanting to increase your income or you have big income goals, don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything and I think you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised. Welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here. My name's Claudia, I'm a business and marketing online strategist and I'm here to help you start, grow and scale a profitable online business so that you can have the freedom to travel the world. I'm currently in Bali and I wouldn't be here without the online business and the income streams that I've been able to create. So I want to help you guys do the same. How much does a virtual assistant get paid when they are just starting out as a brand new VA with no prior experience of being a VA? According to the Association of Professional Virtual Assistants, they did a survey a few years back. The average starting rate for a VA was £25 per hour in the UK. That's not taken into account things like expenses, tax, national insurance contributions, overheads, all of the expenses. After all of that, they found that the take home wage was around 18 pounds per hour starting, which isn't bad considering the national minimum wage in the UK is around nine pounds 18 per hour. So that's almost double what the minimum wage is. And this is for a role where you don't need much prior experience. Now, when I say you don't need much prior experience, what I mean is you don't have to have experience as a virtual assistant. However, if you have skills that you have carried across from your previous job or from things that you might have done in the past and you apply them to your virtual assistant business, that obviously is going to be very helpful. If you're somebody who's maybe never worked before and you don't have any skills that's probably necessary to be a VA, maybe you would want to start out by charging a little bit less to account for that until you've built up a little bit of experience. And you'll be surprised how many skills you already have that can translate across to the VA world as well. Admin, customer service, marketing, design, tech, project management, all of these kind of things are potential tasks that you could help clients with as a VA and they're all very valuable skills. If the starting rate is around £25 per hour for a VA, let's say you want to work around 20 client hours per week because remember you do need some non-billable hours where you do things like your marketing, your own admin, your finance and bookkeeping, all of that kind of stuff so that you can actually get clients and manage your clients as well. Not taking into account those hours, but say 25 hours per week would get you around a salary before tax of 32,600, which is not bad at all it's actually higher than the average UK salary. But we don't wanna just be a little bit over average. We wanna aim high and reach those big goals, right? We wanna to get to six figure businesses. So how can we do that as a VA when the going rate is around 25 pounds an hour? Well, there's a few different ways. The first way is with experience and with great recommendations, great testimonials, great social proof. If you really, really impress your clients and you can get some raving reviews from them, then you can up your prices the more in demand that you get as a VA. Every six months or so, I would do a review of your own prices. I have a video here that helps you when you are ready to up your prices as a VA, so go and check that out. There's also a template in there included on an email that you can send to them. But yes, once you've got that experience and you're producing great results for your clients, then it's time to up your prices. I know VAs that are charging upwards of 40 to 50 pounds per hour for their services. Another way that you can start earning more money in your business is instead of becoming just a VA, start to specialize in something in an area, maybe a task or a skill that you really enjoyed as a VA, for example, social media management, video editing, graphic design, SEO, Facebook ads, all of these things are very specialized and you can really help people on a much deeper level if you can specialize in one thing. But let's say you did a bit of video editing for your clients as a VA and you realize actually you're very good at video editing, you are very creative, you're really great at producing great content for your clients, then this is something that maybe you want to consider specializing in. And instead of being a general VA, 
where you offer a lot of tasks. You're going to offer video editing or videography as your main business model. You can then charge a lot more money for it if it's something that you're good at and it's something that you specialize in. It's hard for me to give you a range of what you can earn if you were to specialize because it completely depends on what you specialize in, your level of skill, your level of experience, how you position yourself to the market and who you're targeting as your clients. All of these things are gonna play into how much you can charge and how much you're gonna earn. However, if you are really happy being a virtual assistant and you love Love your clients you love the work that you do for them you have got more experience now you've already upped your prices there is still another way that you can keep expanding your business and earn more money and this is where you see VAs who are getting to 5k 10k per month or even more once a VA is fully booked it's really difficult to make more money because you've filled out your hours and you can't take on any more clients. So once you've upped your prices, you're kind of stuck at an income cap. But what you can start to do is start outsourcing some of the work. So you can hire other VAs underneath you as part of your team, start growing into an agency, and then you can outsource any new clients that come along to these new VAs. So you would manage these VAs and they would help you out with client work as well. Obviously, you need to think about how you're gonna manage the team, how you're gonna make sure that they are up to standards when it comes to producing good quality work for your clients, because it's still gonna be under your name at the end of the day. But the potential is unlimited when it comes to growing an agency. If you don't wanna go down the agency route, or maybe you, you do wanna go down the agency route, but you want even more ways that you can increase your income as a VA, then I'm about to tell you. Once you are a more experienced VA and you know, you've had your time working with clients, maybe you feel very confident in what it is you do and growing your business as a VA. Maybe you wanna start helping either new VAs and start teaching them, or maybe you wanna help your clients in a more passive way. So for example, if you're a VA and you offer email management for clients and you have a client that comes to you and they can't afford email management from you, but they wanna learn how to manage better themselves, you could release a, a guide or an ebook that you charge for something low ticket, you can sell that to them and make some extra funds. Same when it comes to, for example, system setups. Dubsado is a popular system with a lot of online entrepreneurs, but it can be a bit tricky to set up. Some service providers and some VAs will charge quite a lot of money for a Dubsado setup because it takes a long time and it involves some skill. So if your client cannot afford to pay you for that, how can you have something ready to sell to them so that they can go and do it themselves? So we really need to be creative in the ways that we can help our clients or our potential clients and we can make more money in the process and also help more people. So things like courses, programs, eBooks, guides, all of that kind of stuff, you can start selling those to add more layers to your income and add more income streams as a VA. So I know the question in this video was, how much can you make as a VA? The starting rate, like I said, was around 25 pounds an hour. But in terms of how much you can make as a VA, I'm going to say the potential is unlimited. You can grow an agency, you can have some more passive options, you can specialize and build a service-based business that is more about one type of service. All of these things can happen for you in your business and you can reach whatever income that you want to reach by doing all of these things. But let me know if you have any questions about any of the things that I've mentioned in this video. Drop them below. Make sure to like this video if it's been helpful and subscribe because I come out of new videos every single week.